Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Luna tries to tell RJ the truth, and Hope pushes Cleric to end effects with Sheila today on the bold and the beautiful, Zend and Poppy Bandy Luna and RJ, RJ tries to assure Luna, and Cleric breaks Sheila's heart. At the sand house, RJ can see Luna is worried and asks if he did commodity wrong. Luna assures him that she's not upset with him. He asks also what, and what happened last night she thinks he needs to know about. She cries he has no idea how important she wishes she had come back then with him last night rather of staying at that party. He says he missed her last night, and is that what she's worried about? He promises they ll have further nights together. Luna looks down, and again he asks if he did commodity wrong. She insists he didn't, and flashes to waking up confused in Zen's bed. RJ begs Luna to tell him what's wrong, and prodigies if this is about her first time and having regrets. Luna has regrets, but not about him. RJ says he's so in love with her, and if it were over to him, they de no way, spend another moment piecemeal. He loves her, and nothing will change that. Luna says what they've means the world to her, and she no way wants to lose him. He promises she won't, and they embrace. In the Forrester design office, Zen CA and stop allowing about the night ahead with Luna. Suddenly Poppy arrives, and demands to know what happened last night with her son. Zen swears he'd no way take advantage of anyone, and he allowed. Luna was into him and it's all because of her mints. Poppy thinks back to her and Zen trying to move Luna not to tell RJ. Poppy feels terrible about what happened, and now Luna may tell RJ about it and risk everything they've together. Zenda says this will end Luna and RJ, he knows RJ, and this will be a deal swell, because it involves him. He fears Luna is about to lose everything because of her damn mints. She knows he thinks she's a terrible mama, but he says he doesn't know her at all. Still he knows Luna, who's amazing, and she had a lot to do with that. Still, she's careless and reckless. Poppy says he doesn't have to tell her, and she's sorry about what happened. She can't accept that this horrible and innocent mistake could ruin RJ and Luna's relationship. Hope visits Cleric at Il Giardino. She misses her pater. And begs him to end effects with Sheila. She asks if he doesn't miss her and the kitties, and he does. Sheila listens and as Hope asks how he can choose a psycho over his family. She cries she loves him, and he loves her too. She asks why he has to choose the one thing that's driving a wedge between them. She begs her pater. To put an end to it. Sheila joins them, and says she couldn't help but eavesdrop. Deacon asks where she went to, and she says she went to see someone from her history, no bone. Important. Sheila tells Hope she's sorry she doesn't like seeing her with her father, but they love one another. She asks Hope to give her a chance. Hope refuses, she doesn't believe she's changed and is pulling one over on her father. She tells her father she'll fight for their family and she won't lose him to Sheila. Sheila says she can prove to Hope she's changed if she gives her a chance, but Hope won't. Hope says if she wants to prove she's changed, also walk down from her father. She says if Sheila loves her father, as she claims she does also she LLC this is going him a relationship with his son and grandchildren. Deacon tells Hope right now he needs to speak to Sheila alone. Cleric and Sheila Hope walks off, and Sheila tells him not to let Hope get to him, don't let her come between them. Dominie says he's not doing that, and Sheila is relieved. She says he sticks by her, he always has, and it's one of the reasons she fell in love with him. She can't stay to tell the world that he proposed. Cleric is upset how this engagement will affect Hope, and that he might no way see his son or grandkids again. Sheila asks if he's saying he doesn't want to marry her. He says not yet, not now. Sheila asks, not ever, Cleric doesn't want to hurt her, but he can't keep ignoring what Hope is saying. Shalia tells him, you don't want to hurt me, but just did. She walks down. Luna hesitates, Zend blames Poppy, Sheila crushed. The bold and the beautiful repap for Monday, indicate that RJ Forrester believes he did commodity wrong. 
Luna Nozawa, says RJ, didn't do anything wrong. The bold and the beautiful recap highlights Zend Forrester, thinks about the night ahead with Luna. Poppy Nozawa shows up to defy Zend. Hope Logan shows up to Vantage, to Deacon Sharp. The bold and the beautiful recap, Cleric Sharp refuses to marry Sheila Carter, Sheila Carter listens as Hope asks how Deacon could choose to be with her rather of his family. Hope tells Cleric there are children involved and Cleric needs to realize that. Sheila joins Deacon and Hope. Sheila has gone to see someone from her history. Sheila tells Hope she has changed, but Hope does and believe that. Hope is going to fight for her family. Hope has heard this time and again. If Sheila is truly in love with Cleric, she'll walk down. Sheila is going deep in a relationship with his son and his grandchildren. Cleric tells Hope to leave, he needs to talk to Sheila. Sheila tells Deacon not to let Hope get to him. Cleric tells Sheila not to worry, he's not going to do that. Sheila says she cannot stay until they can tell the world he proposed to her. Deacon wants to stay on the offer coming out right now. Cleric says they're getting married would have Hope, cutting him off fully. Sheila asks if Deacon is saying he doesn't want to marry her. Deacon says not now. Cleric doesn't want to hurt Sheila. Sheila says you just did and walks down. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Zen swears he didn't take advantage of Luna, and no way would. Poppy tells Zen that he knows Luna loves RJ. Zen would love to be the man in Luna's life, but that's RJ. Poppy tells Zen that Luna is about to tell RJ the verity. Poppy is hysterical that Luna will lose RJ over this. Deacon says he knows Luna will lose him. RJ will no way forgive Luna and will no way understand. Zen tells Poppy this is all her fault. Poppy asks if Zen thinks she's a terrible mama. Zen doesn't know her, but he thinks she's careless and reckless. Poppy cannot believe Luna accidentally took her mints and ended up in Zen's bed. Poppy cannot accept that one mistake could ruin Luna and RJ's relationship. The bold and the beautiful recap, RJ Forrester reassures Luna Nozawa Luna tells RJ that he has no idea how important she wishes she had stayed at the party and come home with RJ last night. RJ asks if Luna is sure he did nothing wrong. Luna says effects would be so different if RJ had been with her last night. RJ asks if Luna regrets her first time. Luna has regrets, but it's nothing about that. RJ knows they can work this out. RJ, I so in love with Luna, and if he'd his way, they would no way, spend another night piecemeal. RJ no way anticipated to find love when he did. RJ loves Luna. Luna no way wants to lose RJ. RJ leverages Luna, and says she's no way going to lose him.